Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. And it's better one, month number seven, time for some good old fashioned ass kicking. Today we're playing for a few rookies up in Operation 2 Mask. Only seven to nine enemies, so that should be relatively straightforward. And we got ourselves a cool team Jessica. Rabbit uh, Jones, uh, who is uh, who's one of the newly uh, recruited viewer characters going to lead this mission, together with a ranger called uh, Scooter, uh, Shinobi uh, Grenadier, uh, one of our Sparks, Secundo Spark, uh, that was uh, the White Spark, and our Gunner, um, Elsa Runes, who is just recently leveled up so plenty of um, soldiers for us for only nine enemies we should be fine it's a small kind of little snack mission in between before we're getting to the warlock sometimes it is the most basic mission that creates the most fun by far not the first time that we're trying to excavate um, anyone but it never gets old it's a lot of fun. We gotta be careful and keep our soldiers in concealment for as long as possible. Keep in mind with the enemy power, might as well be looking uh, for pretty strong opponents. 22 turns is plenty. I'm more concerned about the reinforcements once they are going to arrive. Not even an enemy that we've spotted. Moving everyone clearly in direction of the ex um, of uh, the prison cell zone. I already noticed it's not the fastest team, but that's okay. Got Just gotta be vig vigilant here. And you know what? Maybe we're just sneaking in and extracting the soldiers just like that. It seems, by the way, we do not have any medic here. So, yeah, Jessica Jones has a med kit. Our gunner does not have one. Oh, yeah. Okay, and Swordsman has. Yep, we do have two medkits, which makes uh, sense, given that we do not have a specialist with us. And I just realized Secundus is highly injured. Gosh, what was I thinking? I probably thought, let's keep him in the background, uh, because... I remember, I remember we fielded this mission and I didn't have enough soldiers and this was the best team I could come up with. Confirmed. The memories are coming back. Alright, two elite uh, vipers. Not too concerned about them. That might be more of an issue. So we have like what? Two Advent uh, drone plus a drone, that's four. Two Elite Vipers, that's six. Which means there is a maximum one other pack somewhere out there. Putting our infantry and our gunner up here. Rolling out. And Jessica Rabbit moves up here. Because I think we're still going to trigger them at some point. We can't just move away.
For now, however, we are going to be fine. Because apparently they don't want to fight, and that is totally okay for me. Moving up, carefully opening the door. On my way. And now moving to the next door. And there is the last pack, by the way. Which means we now know where everyone else is on the map. Moving to position. Just spreading out a bit to be not too much of an attractive target. And unless the drone spots us out, we should be able to simply rescue all of uh, the XCOM agents and get out of here. Moving on target location. Affirmative. Moving out. Yep, the Vipers are still patrolling the rooftop. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving just a bit closer so that we could see the Vipers. So if the Vipers do not move, we're nevertheless going to need to fight them. Nope, they moved. And that's okay. Working on the door. There we go. I can handle that. And now the only thing that we need to do is get to here, which should be easy. Okay, Overwatch, 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 and Jessica moves over here, and Overwatches. This might be a stealth mission, guys. Might get out of here without even firing a single shot. I somewhat doubt it because at the end, this is a second mission, so there's always like someone who messes up. Boy oh boy, so we just need to cross the building here. Moving to position. Scanning the 
approach vector. Yeah, we knew that the drone would be here. So that's really nothing new. Easy kill. Which means there is no more enemy between us and the exit. So unless I completely screw this up, we should be fine and just would be able to move out of here. By the way, a couple of shots have been fired, so it wasn't possible to do it completely without shots, but almost. Reinforcements should still take one more turn or two to arrive, the first pack. Absolutely. Yep, no one there. Alright, the civilians might just run through the building, to be honest. Alright, we're almost gone. I'm on it. Yeah, reinforcements are not going to be here in time. This is it. Good to go. We're going to go out with only one drone killed. Well, who would have thought that Saiken can play a mission without pulling the entirety of the map? Copy that. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Yeah, can extract all of the XCOM soldiers already. Yeah, even if one of them would get killed now, it wouldn't really matter. Reinforcements are still not here. That is hilarious. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Without even killing a single enemy. Oh, well, one single enemy. Here we go. I hope we get a lot of promotions. As uh, you might know, uh, in Long War the actual mission experience is higher than the kill experience. So probably could have gotten just a bit more when we would have gone into the fights, but a flawless mission is never, never a bad idea. Okay, so Blaze 
clearly focuses more on the actual explosives. I mean, we could go into chain shot, but like I mentioned beforehand, I think we're continuing our theme here with um, biggest uh, biggest booms and just making the grenades stronger. As for Gladius, I think we're going the standard uh, build, uh, like Bulwark for some extra defense. And we got three rookies, or two rookies and one uh, resistance operative. Yeah, and we can use them because there are quite a few rookies uh, which are currently on missions. I was missing something. I think the sniper um, which we saved. Oh yeah, I need to remodel her. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. Dead, pool, uh, dead eye is ready to go. Bit of a modification and she looks just like new. And look at that, we got a ranger training done. Bringing us to another rookie. What were we currently training? Specialist, okay. So by looking at the other rookies, I think we could use Ruben here and start doing another Sharpshooter, at this point, we can use every single class. And finally, I was about to say, and finally we get some more progress done, but no, we're interrupted by yet another uh, training, Major Rattler. Major Rattler, where, where do we have him? Oh, he's fully leveled. Okay, fair enough. I think it's time for Quick Feet to pick up some ranks. I always liked it when the specialist also had the ability to theoretically lead. Yeah, and we got to do something about her because look at the look at the meter. It's it's almost filled. So. I really like that we're trying to start to find her hideout. That means wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. And there is yet another mission, which is going to be our next one. This is looking actually a bit more difficult. 16 to 18 enemies. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was the whole rookie squad thing. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about whether or not we are spending 20 ish or 30 ish intel, um, or if this is just going to be a salty rundown where we're investing currently their entire equipment plus the rookies themselves are worth 200 250 supplies, which is fine. Uh, the engineer is worth just as much, so it was kind of a coin toss. Um, investing 30 intel, on the other hand, is a sparse resource, so not sure yet. It, 
I need to think about it, but we can do that until the next mission. For now, it was yet another quick run. I know, guys, uh, having uh, having 20 to 30 minute missions is uh, not the norm. But think about it. We're soon, if you just look at the things that are upcoming, we're soon going to have longer uh, missions. Uh, just by looking at the big missions that are on the horizon. We are we have already started the assault for the for the HQ. So as soon as uh, that is going to be ready, we can essentially uh, do it. We have uh, started the assault for the uh, chosen stronghold. So those both are really our key missions at the moment. I would like to liberate uh, the area um, right here as well. That would be awesome. Then we would have the entirety of Africa and the entirety of South America. So that would be really, really good. As it stands, these are the big missions. And we've got a couple of smaller ones as well. Um, the mission right here. Then we do have two... Uh, missions to smash and grab and an actual I think pretty potent supply run yeah I remember that was the one that we staffed with five soldiers in the hopes of doing it instead of just getting our ass kicked because there was this recent spike in enemy strength so a couple of interesting other missions and what the heck is going on right here six days Oh, that was the resistance personnel. Yeah, the resistance personnel and one rookie. Yeah, fuck you. I I, I remember that. Uh, screw you, game. We already are full with resistance personnel and it's offering us a lot of resistance personnel and another rookie. Yeah, that was a pretty strange mission. Once we got the radio relay, which is halfway done, can finally expand and then we're already almost here so it's looking good overall it's looking good overall thank you for watching today guys we're going to see each other in the next mission as always um, stay frosty and uh, don't forget to leave a comment or a like down below see you in the next mission bye bye